In the prior video, three of the four major components of your solar water heating system were introduced. They were the solar collector panels on your roof, the hot water tank, and the electric backup heating element located inside the hot water tank. The video presented how the system heats your water with the sun's energy. It also illustrated how your system's electric backup heats your water during a spell of cloudy weather. The focus of this video is the water heater timer and how it controls the electric backup element to save electricity and save you money by preventing water from being electrically heated when it's not needed. The most typical timer is a little gray box, an electrically powered timer housed in a small gray metal cabinet. This simple device stops the electric backup from energizing the heating element when you don't need hot water, for example during the solar day. Seen from the outside, the little gray box is an off and on lever. Like many homeowners keen on saving energy and money, you can set this lever to the off position to be sure your system will never use electricity to heat water. If a time comes when electric backup is needed, perhaps during a few days of heavy rain or hosting some out of town guests, you can always turn the switch on. Let's take a look inside the timer and get familiar with some of the basic parts. Here we see the actual timer featuring a yellow dial. Unlike a standard clock where hands pass over the numbers, the dial of this clock passes under a time pointer, a single hand that does not move. One full rotation equals 24 hours. To turn the electric supply to the heating element on and off automatically with the timer, factory supplied trippers must be fastened to the yellow dial at the appropriate times. Here is a pair of factory provided trippers. The silver one marked on permits the heating element to be energized, while the other marked off prevents electric backup. Once they are fastened to the dial, they physically flip the manual lever on or off as the tripper sweeps past the lever mechanism located under the silver time pointer. At a minimum, Hawaii Energy strongly recommends you have an off tripper fastened to the dial no later than 9 a.m. This will guarantee your system won't use electricity during the solar day. Better yet, if you decide to keep your timer manually shut off, having this off tripper installed will ensure that your timer cannot be accidentally left on for more than a 24 hour period. Typically, there are two times during the day which might require some electric backup to heat water. One is in the early morning prior to the slower day, and the other is in the late evening. To ensure a hot shower in the early morning, you can fasten an on tripper at 5 a.m. and an off tripper at 7 a.m. If you need to guarantee hot water in the late hours, you can fasten an on tripper at 4 p.m. and an off tripper at 5 p.m. Hawaii Energy recommends you use your solar water heating system with the timer manually set to the off position before adding trippers. Become aware of your hot water habits. For example, are you running your dishwasher or washing machine at night? This could be the reason why you have a cold shower in the morning. Try using hot water when it is most abundant and free during the solar day. With trippers fastened, be sure the clock is set to the current time. Setting the dial to the correct time is easy. Simply pull the entire dial toward you and rotate it clockwise or counterclockwise until the current time is directly under the silver time pointer. Here the time has been reset from 4.15 p.m. to 3 p.m. Like any electric device, this clock will stop during a power outage. If not reset after power is restored, you'll risk an unusually high electric bill at the end of the month. Whether there is a power outage or not, it is a good idea to check your timer every so often to ensure it's at the correct time and that all the trippers are present and accounted for. Hawaii Energy can provide you with an electric timer magnet to record the settings of your trippers. With a permanent marker, simply note the on trippers with an O and off trippers with an X. Place the magnet inside the electric timer for future reference. Perhaps every other month, open the little gray box and check the yellow dial with a particular focus on the trippers. Are all the trippers present? Are they in the right location? Did any fall off? If any fell off, refer to your magnet and reinstall the fallen tripper in the right location. If any are loose, tighten them as much as you can. By watching part one and part two of this video, we hope you have a better understanding of how your system works and most importantly, how your timer works to save you money by minimizing the use of costly electricity to heat your water. For more information, visit our website at hawaiienergy.com.